I mean, there's some people that can just like wake up with like beautiful hair. Yeah. Curly head fro problems. Is that a thing? Because I feel like it should be. I mean, really though? Really though, look at this. I mean, it's like a lion or something. Ugh. I'm gonna hurry and do this mess and then I will get back to my face. I'm hoping that's a little bit better. I didn't feel like straightening it today, so I felt like just doing my natural curls. If you didn't know, my hair is very curly. <laughs> Hence the fro hair curly problems. So anyway, um, I'm just going to do my face today. I'm going to do a getting ready. I have somewhere to go this morning, so I thought I'd do a getting ready with you guys. So I'm starting, I guess I should tell you what it is before I start unscrewing it, the 24-hour eye base by MAC. This is the eye base I'm using right now, and I really like it. I'm going to put some chapstick on my lips. And I'm going to take my MAC matte cream. And all of these products will be listed in the down bar below just in case you are curious what one of them is. So definitely check down there. I always try to list makeup I'm wearing and things I'm talking about down there. So. Just put that on my T-zone. And now I'm taking my MAC paint pot and Perky. It's just it's really, really pretty kind of pinky color, pinky salmon color with some sheen to it, and I'm just going to put that on my eyes. Okay, going in with my Dior eyeshadow Quint, and this is in Montage, Montage, I don't speak French, I'll link it below. Um, going with that, um, this is what it looks like, it's just so, so pretty. I'm just going to take my Sonia Kasha... 203 brush and I'm just going to apply this pinky shade right here all, oops, all over my lid. I'm just going to go in with my primer. I'm using the Smashbox, Smashbox Photo Finish um, Pore Minimizing Primer. It's like that new primer that Smashbox came out with. I got this little mini size. So I could try it out. And so far I really like it. So it looks like I'm just gonna put this all over my face. Take my MAC Prime Prep and Prime Line Filler Base. I'm just gonna go in on my nose with this just for like my bigger pores. This product is a little bit harder to work with. I'm gonna do a review of this soon though because this is one of my very favorites. I'm going to go in with my MAC Prep and Prime. This is the highlighting kind of pen. This one's not the highlighting one, but it's called Highlighter Bright Forecast. It's kind of like the yellowy one, so I'm going to go in with that and just put that under my eyes. Kind of a yellowy base, so I'm blending this all in with my Sigma Tapered, Kab Tapered Kabuki F86 brush. Okay, I'm going in with my Estee Lauder Double Wear Light Foundation. <clears throat> Sorry. I'm in the shade Intensity 1.0, so I'm just going to put this out over my face. So I'm going to blend that in with my Sigma Angled Kabuki F84 brush. Now I'm just going to go in with my Real Techniques um, powder brush like this and I'm just going to kind of blend down my jawline really good and I'm just a little bit on my forehead and nose. I'm going to take my MAC Prep and Prime um, highlighter in Radiant Rose and this is just like the more pinky one and I'm just going to kind of put that underneath my eyes just a little bit. And then I'm going into my NYX Concealer High Definition High Definition Concealer in the shade CW03 Light Pale. And I'm just going to also kind of put that on top, just under my eyes. And I'm also just going to kind of touch up on any little, like, redness or anything going on. And I'm taking my same brush as before, the Tapered Kabuki of 86 by Sigma.
So I'm taking my NYX Finishing Powder, HD Finishing Powder, and this is in the Banana Shade. This is one that they just came out with. It's like a little bit yellowy, but it's very, it's like a loose powder and a pressed, pressed version. It's version, virgin. <laughs> a loose powder and a pressed version. It's just very soft. And I'm going to take that on my Sigma Tapered Highlighter F35 brush. Next, I'm taking my MAC Studio Care Blend Pressed Powder. I'm trying to um, project pan this. And this is in the shade Light Plus. And I'm going to take my Sedona Lace 813. I'm going to use this. I will have a project pan update coming up somewhat soon, so you can look, at, look out for that. Next, I'm taking my Chanel Le Beige powder in the shade 30, and I'm going to take my, let's see, this is the Real Techniques blush brush, and I love this for applying this bronzer because it's not like the softest brush in the world, so it's able to pick up really, really well, so. I'm going to take my e.l.f. eyebrow kit in the color light and I'm going to take my Ion Beauty angled eyeliner brush. I got this at TJ Maxx a really long time ago so I'm not sure where to find it but it's really nice. I'm going to take this powdery light shade. I'm going to take my Sonia Kashuk spoolie and I'm just going to kind of comb through those brows just to make sure that they're all blended. Okay, I'm taking this Dior palette that I used earlier for my eyes, and I'm taking my crown brush. This is C463. I'm just gonna take this really deep um, chocolate shade, and I'm just gonna use that as my eyeliner. Now for under my lash line, I'm just gonna take this really pretty pink shade from the palette that we used on my eyes. I'm just going to kind of run that underneath. I'm going to take my Dior palette again and I'm going to take this white shade and I'm just going to take my e.l.f. brush and I'm just going to put a little bit of that just kind of like in the center. Just a bit. And I'm going to do the same thing with that with the white shade and I'm just going to put that in my inner corner just to kind of brighten up the eyes just a bit. I'm taking my Naked Basics palette and I'm just gonna take the shade WOS, it's this pinky matte one right here, and I'm gonna take my crown brush and I'm going to just put this underneath my brow bone. I'm taking my Sigma Inner Rim Brightener in the shade Final Touch and I'm just going to do my waterline. So I'm going to do my lips. I'm going to take my MAC Edge to Edge Lip Liner. This was limited. I'm not sure if you can still get it, but it is such a good one. I'm going to take my Laura Geller Lipstick in Pink Mink. It's just such a pretty, pretty shade, and I'm just going to put that on. I'm going to take my Chanel Blush. This is in 190 Angelique. And this is beautiful. I think that this is part of their spring collection. It's so pretty. I'm going to take my um, Sedona Lace 850 brush and I'm just going to apply this to my cheeks. And then for the last step, I'm taking my Tarte's Light Camera Lashes Mascara, and I'm just going to do my eyelashes. 